Good evening everyone, how are you all doing? Uh, today, uh, it's been a little while since I have done a video. Uh, apologies for that, it's been a case of home life's got in the way. I've had things to do. Um, been a bit cooped up doing work, uh, so needed to get out and go do something. So, what I've decided to do now this is a place I've only been to once before and the first attempt was a bit of astro. It was better than I was expecting. Uh, it wasn't a it wasn't a dark sky. There was a bit of a, a bit of a moon out and yeah, I uh, managed to get some images that were alright. What I thought I would do is come back and see if I can one, do a bit of a recce for some more astro shots, and two, as you can probably tell, uh, it's not far off sunset, so I'm hoping to get some sunset shots. So I'm gonna head up the hill and yeah, see if I can find some shots. Okay, so the, the place that I'm going to is called West Kennet Long Barrow. Uh, not, I don't know a massive amount about Long Barrows, but my understanding is they're like, uh, almost like burial chambers. Very much like the, uh, the Devil's Den that I was at a couple of months ago. I had a brief look. Um, it's open, so you can, you can actually go in. What I'll do is I'll probably do a little tour just so you can see what it's like. Here we are. So this here behind me is Kennet, West Kennet Long Barrow. Now from my having a quick read of that and a bit of research beforehand, uh, as I mentioned, this is a bit of a, it's like a burial ground slash ritual site um, so you can actually go in here and i will walk you in in a second but yeah you've got all of these i'm not quite sure what the uh what the purpose is maybe just to mark out the entrance but you've got all of these massive stones and it's hard to gauge the size based on this video but they are absolutely massive. So, so it's got to be a good 12 feet in both directions. So, and that's the biggest one. Let's have a little wander in. I've not got long before I need to uh, start looking at compositions, but um, I think it would be a missed opportunity for you to for me to do this and go away with not actually showing you what's on the inside.
The first composition I've got is to the side of the, uh, the long barrow. On the right hand side going behind the stones there's actually a little path uh, so people have obviously walked up the side and then to the left of that I've got the all the stones sort of leading around to the front. Uh, the idea is that I could um, depending on where the say like the Milky Way is I could maybe have that arching over the uh, the side uh, it's quite a nice little composition but um, you have to try and picture it with a starry background and then uh, hopefully that would make a bit more sense Okay, so I've now moved on to a slightly different composition. Uh, this time I've got a little, a little closer into the uh, the stones that I was just talking about a second ago. Now this is actually very similar to a shot that I took the first time I came here, uh, which I will chuck up on screen for you. Uh, the idea is that I had one, at least one of these stones, like the main focal point, and in the shot that I took, I had the a bit of the the Milky Way sort of arching over it and if you look really closely you can see a couple of planets so I think it's uh, Jupiter on the right and then Saturn on the left on the left um, I thought it was quite a nice shot it's not the greatest and I will probably need to refine that ever so slightly um, but for the first time coming here being able to find a, a composition like that in the dark I think I did okay but I'll, I'll take this shot it's, like I say none of these are going to be award-winning and it is just mainly to uh, get an idea of where I need to be and what I can do for shots for Astro so I'll take this shot chuck it up on screen and then I'll have a little bit more of a wander around just to see if I can find something else Right, so for this shot, I thought I'd try something different. I'll come to the very front of it, and looking at it, it looks like it would work quite well for a pano. So I've set the camera up portrait, and I'm literally just going to get the front of this, probably stick it in like a letterbox format, and hopefully get some uh, bit of sky in there. But this could work quite nice if I get the front of it, and then a lot of sky, then I can try and get a lot of the, uh, the stars in the sky as well. If I'm lucky, I could maybe get the Milky Way arching over the top of it. Just gonna have a little wander around now, just to, just to see if there's anything else. I've gone right hand side center now I'm just gonna have a quick look on the left now there's now this probably would have been better with a bit more light but there is also an actual there's a real a proper path not a trodden in path and I could try and get that so the idea would be is almost like a leading line up to something behind which would be quite interesting. Uh, don't know how it's going to work with the light, but let's grab the camera and get, try and get a shot. Okay, for, so for this shot, as I mentioned, there's a little path leading in between these two rocks up on top of the uh, the long barrow itself. So it's one of those shots that's like a bit of a mystery type shot. So it, it leads you into the shot and then makes you wonder where you're going to be going or what's behind. So the, the idea is, I'm doing a, a portrait shot of this, try and get a bit more sky in, and then if this works the way I hope it will work, if I was to then have more sky for the, for the stars, it'd be, yeah, I think, it'd be, I think that would prove quite interesting. I'm not entirely sure that I'd get the, the Milky Way or anything like that, but uh, 
if it's if the background is scattered with a whole bunch of stars I think it would look quite nice so I'm gonna take this shot I'll chuck it up let me know what you think okay so uh, I'm gonna call it a, a video I think uh, it's it's getting to the point where it's getting a little too dark to be able to see see a composition and that's the issue that I had the last time I came uh, it's difficult to see in the dark as you know so uh, I'll leave it for now unfortunately it's quite a lot of cloud on the horizon so I have a feeling although although that looks relatively clear that's not and that's the direction well, all of that's coming this direction and because it's pretty much a full moon tonight there's a small margin of clear sky no moon so instead of messing around trying to get something to work when it is clear and it's not a full moon hopefully I can get it on a new moon and then uh, yeah, I can put some of those compositions to good use. Hopefully, the uh, the video has been informative. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do. But please don't do it. <laughs> um, if you want to see more, if you want to see a follow-up video doing some astro up and the uh, West Kennet Long Barrow, uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, you'll find out when I'm when I next put up a video. Uh, with any luck, it will be a bit of astro photography. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out. So until the next video, take care, everyone. Keep safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.